Out of the darkness comes the big, bad, scary Kuma. He is an American Akita, and I am one of his favorite humans. How I know that, you may ask? Well, as most American Akitas, these dogs can be very selective as to who they trust, and more importantly, who they allow to touch them. Not only has Kuma always been good for me, even giving kisses now and then, but my attempts to have other groomers in the salon work on him has failed, because he simply would not allow it. So I guess I'm Kuma's groomer for life, and I'll admit, I'm a little bit flattered. Originally bred for guarding royalty in Japan, these dogs are kings of big dog privilege. Meaning if you're walking an American Akita, rest assured they will keep you safe. They are strong, fearless dogs that don't back down from a fight, which in the wrong human hands could be very dangerous. These dogs may be beautiful, but they require a knowledgeable owner who will train and socialize them properly. They are not always great with other dogs or children, so keep this in mind before choosing this breed. They can weigh anywhere from 70 to 130 pounds, and they have a life expectancy of 10 to 14 years. They are a relatively healthy breed, but due to their enormous size, they can sometimes be prone to hip dysplasia and other joint problems. The Japanese Akitas are much smaller than the American, so these types of joint issues are less common in their lines. Akitas rarely bark, so if you hear one barking, that may mean that there is something very wrong. They are also not a very active breed. They require moderate exercise, such as a simple walk around the block. As adults, they are not very playful and are happy to be your couch potato. I am convinced the only reason Kuma likes me is because he believes I am his personal scratching assistant. He actually genuinely enjoys being groomed, and he specifically loves the blow dryer. Although a little stressed about certain parts of the grooming, such as having his face washed or blow dried, overall he is pretty content about the massage. Akitas shed year-round, but they shed very heavily about twice a year, which is my favorite time to groom them although his wife sheds a lot more than he does. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video dedicated to her. Now I do trust Kuma, but if you're a pet professional, please don't ever let your guard down with any dog, especially large breeds. I am aware that I am working on an animal, which means that they can be unpredictable, especially as they get older. Dogs can develop arthritis or other ailments as they age, and when manipulating their joints, we can unintentionally cause them pain. A dog's way of communicating their discomfort can be growling or lashing out, so it's important to read their body language and always make sure that you are in a position to back away from them safely if necessary. A dog bite in the salon is rarely the fault of the dog and more commonly the result of groomer error. Today, for our pet of the day, we have Lily the Great Pyrenees Mix and Katana the Siberian Husky. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the courageous Kuma.